Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Primer Water Spray. It looks like this. This is in the Scent Paradise Potion. It's also vegan. Um, I've tried this once and I wasn't impressed about the spray. Um, so just keep your eyes fairly tightly shut when you spray this. But I always do a tester spray. Oh, that wasn't too bad. And then I just spray all over my face. I don't really smell anything amazing. I don't know. I'm not really bothered by the smell and I'm not impressed by it. Um, I'm just going in with a damp Real Techniques brush, there's nothing on it, and just dabbing that into my skin. Okay, so now that I have applied my primer water spray, I'm going to go in with a foundation. I'm going to be using the Maybelline 24 Hour Foundation in the color 310 Sun Beige. I picked this up for the summer, um, so this is going to be a little bit dark for me, but we're going to make it work. Um, I'm going to put about three pumps, one, two, three, on my hand. Now to get that really, really nice glow that I was talking about, I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Hello Halo Liquid Highlighter. This is in the color Goddess Glow, in the color Goddess Glow. So it looks like this, and I honestly, I open it, and it, ooh, it spilled out a little bit, that's okay. Um, I just take the applicator and what's on it, I just put it right next to my foundation because I'm actually going to mix this into my foundation to give me a really good glow. Next I'm just going to be going in with that Real Techniques and I'm going to be mixing these two together with it and then applying this all over my face. If you want it to be even more glowy, you're definitely more than welcome to even add more of that Hello Glow or Hello Hello Halo, excuse me. So I'm going to dab this all over my face. So the one thing that I am missing from my collection right now is my drugstore concealer. Um, my favorite is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. It goes along with this foundation. Um, unfortunately, I think I have it in my other makeup vanity at another house of mine, so I can't be using that today. So I am going to go in with the only not drugstore product. Well, the only there's only going to be two not drugstore products. Um, my Tarte concealer and this is in the color light neutral and just lightly apply it underneath my eyes as well as just do a little bit of highlighting around my face. Okay so now that I have this highlighted I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques brush again, brush, sponge and just dab dab dab. I always start with whichever one I did first just due to it drying. Um, even the wet and wild one that I would usually use from the drugstore, I would do the same thing. So I just like to blend that out. And as you can see with this, I do go up onto the eyeball like this. I like to just do like, I don't know, a roll with the fake beauty blender, the Real Techniques blender, um, just so I can get some product and hide my veiny eyelids. Um, and also when you do your nose, start at the bottom and then go up towards your forehead. I do put a heart shape here just to bring in some like highlighting slash light to the center of my face. So as you can see, it looks pretty glowy just as it is now. We're going to 
pump up the glow. Next, I'm going in with Physicians Formula. This is just the Butter Blush. This is in the color Natural Glow. And I'm just going to apply this. This, depending on what skin color you are, you could totally wear this as a highlight. Um, this is just gonna give you that natural glow. So I'm gonna apply this kind of like to my cheek slash highlight area. So just kind of follow along while I apply this. Honestly, just using like an angled brush from Kala. I'm gonna dip that into my product and I'm just gonna apply this to, like I said, my cheeky areas as well as like my highlight areas. This is just gonna make you very glowy. As you can see, it just gives you like that natural sheen and shimmer. I'm gonna apply some to my nose, my lip, my chin and up into that heart area of my face. And you'll see this is just gonna, like I said, help with just the glow factor and that summery, sun-kissed look. Next from Physicians Formula, I'm going in with the Butter Bronzer. This is in the color Deep Bronzer. Um, and I'm going to apply this as a contour. It's gonna be glowy and more natural than actually contouring your face. I'm going in with the Eco Tools full brush, it says. I just like to apply my bronzer with it when I'm trying to use it as a contour as well. And I'm gonna do that three shape. Um, so I wanna make sure that it's up in my hairline. I make a kissy face and follow my actual natural contour line. And remember, you're trying to look sun-kissed, so it's okay to be glowy. And then I'm gonna just apply this to the bottom of my chin slash neck just to get some definition on my chin. So you can definitely tell the difference from this side versus this side. Um, like I said, I also have acne scarring, so when I do contour, it does sometimes show up, but that's a okay, it's life. So you're definitely gonna just start in the hairline. I usually like to connect it just a little bit in the center. I'm gonna bring it down to the kissy face. So you should be feeling like you're bronzed and glowing at this point, um, but now is the highlighter. Um, and what I'm going to be using for my highlighter is the Notorious Precious Petals by Wet n Wild. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the color, once again, Precious Petals. So many people love this. This is actually only my first time using, well, my second time using it. Um, and I'm just gonna apply this to my highlighted areas. So I'm just going in with my Real Techniques brush. It looks like this. This is supposed to be a contour brush. I definitely don't use it for contour. I always use it for my highlight. So I'm just gonna hit this, like I said, in my highlighted areas. So here, I like to put it above my eyebrow and brush it into the hairline. Like you're shading, I guess. That's how I kind of describe it. Um, so highlight and then shade. I also like to bring it on my cupid's bow as well as my chin as well as my nose, and then bring it up. Up, 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 and kind of just fan it out in the center of your head to give you that glowy look. So as you can see, that's pretty glowy, and you can keep on adding depending on how much glow you want. So I know that when you're at the beach, you're not just glow. Most of the time you have a little bit of coloring on your cheeks. Um, that natural, like, cheek, pre-highlight, um, it's already on there, but I'm gonna go in with the Wet n Wild uh, Color Icon Blush. This is in the color Mellow Wine. I'm just gonna apply this to like the apples of my cheek and blush it out. I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Stippling Brush for my blush today. I kinda almost just wanna look like I've been kissed by the sun. So I smile and I apply it here and I'm dragging it up and towards my highlight. This will also give the illusion of higher cheekbones, which is never a bad thing. Okay, so now that we are here, I'm going to be using, ooh, sorry. So now I'm just gonna be using the Mega Last Liquid Katsu. It's a metallic lipstick. It is also by Wet n Wild in the color 
Bali in Love. Um, just always make sure you moisturize your lips before you use anything metallic because they do tend to be on the drier side. And I'm just gonna apply this. So as you can see, everything's starting to look a lot glowy. Um, I'm just gonna go in and I do not have drugstore eyebrow product. Um, actually, no, I lied, I totally do. So I am going to be going in with the Physicians Formula Brow Last Longwear Brow Gel. This is in the color dark brown. Um, it has a spoolie on one end. It has a spoolie on one end, so I'm just gonna spool all my eyebrows up to the sky to give me my eyebrow shape. Does everybody else always have that one eyebrow that's so much better than the other? I recently didn't go to my normal eyebrow girl and the new girl didn't do bad, but my old eyebrow lady slayed it and I need to just keep going to her. So I'm just going to apply this to my eyebrows just to make it look a little bit sharper. And I'm applying this in the opposite direction as well as then going with the same direction. And I'm just gonna go back in with the actual spoolie and just spool everything out so it doesn't look as harsh, it looks a little bit more natural. So I'm going to do the same thing here. And then just bully it out. What I like about that product, it, it, it is wet but it dries and you don't have to set it which is really nice. I super duper duper like that. So now what I'm going to do is go in with the single eyeshadow from Wet n Wild. This is in the color Brulee and I'm just going to be applying this all over the base of my eyes as well as up to the brow bone so I guess like my entire eye. A nude color kind of just to set you know, that concealer that I put all over my eyes when I did that really weird rolly technique. Also to just brighten my eyes, make me look more awake. Oh, I also just used my um, Wet n Wild just big eyeshadow brush. Now I'm just going in with a Real Techniques brush and the color Nutty from Wet n Wild. It's just the single eyeshadows. And I'm going to be applying this into my crease. Not a lot of it, just a little bit. I don't want it to be too heavy because this is supposed to be a glowy slash natural look. So not so heavily taking that color. I'm just going to bring it into my crease just to give my eyes some depth. Nothing too crazy, nothing too much. So now just going back in with the highlighting color in Precious Petals, I'm gonna go underneath my, my highlight bone, my eyebrow bone, just to highlight it. Right here and in the corners of my eyes. Just to make it look really glowy. Since I do want this to be more of a natural look, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and put on some mascara. Next, I'm going in with the Voluminous Lash Paradise. This is from L'Oreal. This is the waterproof one in the color Blackest Black. And I'm just going to be applying this all over my eyelashes. So last but not least, I'm going to go in with Dewy Finishing Spray by NYX, and I'm gonna and I'm going to spray this all over my face to lock in this glow and sheen and this 
awesome, glowy, highlighted look for the summer. Like I said, I always do a practice spray and then I spray my face. And then I just kind of keep my eyes down low because if you did just put mascara on, you just want to make sure that it's not going to get underneath your eyes. This is the finished look. It's super glowy, super highlighted. Thank you guys for watching. Bye.